Hello, welcome to my little library. We are here with a new fairy tale, Hansel and Gretel. Before that, I have a small request. I need all your encouragement and support to take this channel forward. If you do like our videos, please like, share and subscribe my channel. You will be knowing that only by your likes and comments. Please let us know them through your valuable comments. If there are any suggestions regarding the videos, please comment below. We will definitely consider them while making our next videos. If anyone was watching my channel for the first time, please do follow for more videos. Thank you. Let's get into the video. Hansel and Gretel The stepmother of Hansel and Gretel was very cruel. She forced them to do household chores. She wanted to get rid of the two kids. The cruel stepmother told her husband to leave the children in a deep forest. She argued that they did not have enough to eat. If the children were sent to the forest, they would survive. Ansel and Gretel had overheard the talk of their real father and cruel stepmother. Hansel went to the backyard of the house and picked some white pebbles up. He would use them later. Next day, the family set out. They headed for the forest. Hansel carefully dropped white pebbles on the way. His parents were not aware of that act of Hansel. Their parents made them sit under a tree. After some time, they left from there stealthily. The children were all smiled. They knew their play parents' plan well. Hansel and Gretel set out for home. The white pebbles thrown by Hansel while going were helpful to them while coming back. The children reached home safely. The stepmother was very angry to see the kids again. She locked them up in a room. The children were terrified, but she had some more evil schemes in her mind. Once again, the cruel stepmother took the entire family into the forest. That time, they all went deeper so that children might never be back. Hansel threw breadcrumbs on the way to create the track of the path. Left alone in the jungle, the children tried to go back home again, but the breadcrumbs had been eaten up by birds. The night fell and the kids were terrified. The kids traveled through the dense forest and reached a beautiful cottage. The cottage had been built with gingerbread and cakes. They started eating the rooftop of the candy house because they were hungry. A witch who lived in that cottage came out of the candy hut. She offered them food, beds and eatables. She wanted to eat them up but they were not aware of her evil plan.
the witch locked up Hansel in an iron cage. She forced Gretel into becoming her slave. She fed Hansel liberally so that he might become fat enough to be eaten up. Gretel was forced to do all odd jobs. The witch was cruel. Gretel cried, but the witch did not let the kids escape. The witch decided to eat Hansel and Gretel up. She tried to show Gretel how much heat there was inside the oven. As she demonstrated this to Gretel, the latter pushed her into the oven. The witch died. Hansel and Gretel discovered a vase full of precious stones and other things. Hansel put them in a sack. His fan took them across big seas and jungles. They reached home happily. They met their father. Their stepmother had died. They all lived happily ever after.